This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. So last week, during our Against the Odds poll, we had a crushing winner in forced fruition. So this week, we are heading to Modern to see if... We can win the game by doing the exact opposite of what I normally want to be doing, which is drawing cards. Instead of us drawing cards, we're trying to win the game by forcing our opponent to draw tons of cards with Force Fruition. So this should be an interesting one. I'm excited to give this a shot. Force Fruition is a super tricky card to actually make work, but hopefully we ended up with something that'll be at least a little bit functional, do some sweet things, have some fun. So a quick reminder before we break down Forced Fruition for modern. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Against the Odds in general, it would be amazing of you if you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Force Fruition, starting with our namesake enchantment, Force Fruition itself. So Force Fruition, six mana enchantment, and it makes it so whenever an opponent plays a spell, that player draws seven cards. So good news, bad news. Good news is Force Fruition, if it just sits out on the battlefield, our opponent maybe can play six or seven spells before they just straight up mill themselves out of the game with Force Fruition. The bad news is, as our opponent is playing those spells, they're going to literally draw their entire deck. So if they have an answer to Force Fruition or a bunch of lightning bolts, some other way of killing us or disrupting our plan, they're going to find it because Force Fruition is making them draw their entire deck. So how do you actually build around Force Fruition? That is a challenge of today, like minimizing that downside of the opponent getting to draw their whole deck and hopefully using Force Fruition to win the game. So step one is bounce effects like Boomerang and Eye of Nowhere, which literally just bounce any permanent for two mana, are super, super good with Force Fruition for a couple of reasons. So for one, in the early game, these cards let us slow our opponent down because remember, this is any permanent, so we can bounce our opponent's lands. So in theory, if we're on the play, we just go make a land drop on turn one, opponent makes a land drop on turn two, we make a land, we bounce our opponent's land, setting them back an entire turn of development. So that's kind of step one. Step two is once we have forced fruition, hopefully with our opponent not having too many lands on the battlefield, maybe our opponent plays a creature or a planeswalker, we can boomerang it, and then all of a sudden there's a really big cost to our opponent replaying it because they're going to have to draw seven cards. Well, I mean, I guess a cost and a benefit, but it's a way we can force our opponent to trigger force fruition. If we can bounce our opponent's important permanence, they either don't have that important permanent or they are going to have to recast it, draw a bunch of cards, and get closer to dying to force fruition. We also have some spells that work similarly. Remand, Cryptic Command, these are good cards in modern anyway, but they're especially good with force fruition. So Remand basically does the same exact trick we were just talking about with Boomerang except instead of a permanent on the battlefield, it does it with a spell on the stack. So our opponent goes to cast something, maybe they trigger Force Fruition, they're forced to draw seven cards, we remand it, it goes back to their hand, they have to cast it again, draw seven more cards. So another way to speed up the Force Fruition kill. And then Cryptic Command just kind of does it all. Being able to bounce a land, just like with our boomerang effects, really key with Cryptic, so we can, in theory, just go like, turn two, boomerang you, turn three, I have nowhere you, turn four, Cryptic you, and have our opponent stuck on one land for essentially most of the game, which gives us a lot of time to set up our force fruition, but it also can kind of fog by tapping creatures, counter something, draw us a card if we need to. So those are kind of our setup pieces. We also have Howling Mind and Dictative Crew Fix. So the idea here is, with Force Fruition, once it's on the battlefield, our opponent's going to draw all of the cards. They're going to draw through their entire deck really quickly. So drawing an extra card or two a turn from Howling Mind or Dictative Crew Fix, it doesn't really do anything. Like, if you're already drawing 7 or 14 cards a turn from Force Fruition, one extra card a turn isn't going to change the math at all. On the other hand, these cards let us draw extra cards each turn to make sure that we keep finding our boomerangs, our other defensive pieces, and eventually our finishers, so we kind kind of break the symmetry in a really odd way because our opponent's already going to have all the cards, so we benefit more from drawing an extra card each turn than our opponent. 
As far as actually closing out the game, we have two different plans. So plan one is Fevered Visions, which works like another Howling Mind or Dictative Crew Fix is a way that we can keep drawing cards that doesn't really benefit our opponent since Force Fruition will be out. But Fevered Visions also slowly kills our opponent. As long as they have four more cards in the hand, after they draw with Fevered Visions, they're taking two damage. So this is slowly eating away our opponent's life total. And because of Force Fruition and Howling Mind and Dictative Crew Fix and the fact that we keep returning all these things to our opponent's hand with remands and boomerangs, it's always going to be triggery. Our opponent should always have at least four cards in hand when we're playing this deck. So that's kind of plan one. We just stack up Fevered Visions, drain our, our opponent. The better plan, though, is Rune Flare Trap. This is our real finisher. So as I mentioned in the intro, we can just win by milling our opponent out with Force Fruition, but that's a risky plan, because as they draw their entire deck, they're probably going to find answers or ways to kill us. Rune Flare Trap is the most absurd burn spell in this deck. So Rune Flare trap normally six mana but if an opponent drew three or more cards each turn let's say because there's a force fruition on the battlefield we can cast it for just one mana and then ruin flare trap deals damage to that player equal to the number of cards in their hand so this means let's say we play force fruition the next turn our opponent plays a spell they're going to draw seven cards so they're going to have seven to ten to 14 cards in their hand maybe they play two spells even and then they're going to have like 18 or 20 cards in hand that means a single rune flare trap can just be lethal for a single mana one mana at least like 10 damage maybe up to 20 damage and we even have snapcaster mage to reuse our rune flare trap so with a force fruition out if our opponent casts a single spell two rune flare traps should be lethal so either we just draw two rune flare traps naturally or we can rune flare trap for one mana snapcaster for two mana Rune Flare Trap for one more mana from our graveyard, that's going to be like 20 or more damage for just four mana. So that's our main plan for closing out the game. And in conjunction with our Fevered Visions damage, which helps get it down, maybe if we get in eight damage with our Fevered Visions, just one Rune Flare Trap is lethal. But that's the main plan. Play Force Fruition, have our opponent draw some cards because they're going to have to cast something into the Force Fruition to kill us, and then Rune Flare Trap our opponent once or twice, kill them with just the most insane burn spell in the modern format one mana for like 10 or 20 damage which is absolutely absurd so that's basically the deck annoy our opponent like crazy by bouncing all their stuff bouncing their lands just making it miserable to play against our deck eventually get down our force fruition rune flare trap our opponent out of the game perhaps with the help of snapcaster otherwise a braid gives us a bit of real removal can get an artifact can get an early game creature mana base we have a bunch of fetch lands some field of ruins some shock lands a fast lander to you, some basic lands in the sideboard anger the gods for go wide decks that is one of the problems with our main deck is it's really good at beating big things if our opponent's just going to keep playing a tarmogoyf or something we could just keep boomeranging the tarmogoyf and never really take damage from it but if our opponent can go wide with a bunch of cheap things that's where we can get in trouble but anger the gods solves that problem another abrade for removal for creatures and artifacts a bunch of counter spells to deal with stuff on the stack to force through our force fruition surgical for graveyard stamping sphere for decks like Storm, Blood Moon to shut down decks like Tron, and that is Forced Fruition for Modern, and that's our Against the Odds deck for this week. So, this should be interesting. The plan of winning by forcing our opponent to draw an extra 7 or 14 cards a turn, it is ultra risky, but hopefully we'll get the right matchups, get the right games, where our boobrags and annoying bounce effects can come through, and we just rune flare or trap our opponent right out of the game. So, I will be interested to see if this deck can actually work. The idea that we're going to win by making our opponent draw tons and tons of cards, it seems so backwards to me. My mind is boggling at the thought of forcing our opponent to draw so many cards, but if there was ever a shell that could make it work, I think this is a pretty good example of it. So anyway, let's get to the gameplay, see if we can actually force fruition in modern. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be back in a bit with the wrap-up. Alright, uh... Against the odds time, we are looking to... Oh, only one land. We gotta ship that. Looking to <laughs> force things true fruition. Uh, we would rather have a land than more dictates. Well, land go. So this hand can make our opponent draw cards. And us a little bit. Scalding Tarn. Opponent passes. Well, Scalding Tarn goo. Hmm. Control A, bone it. Scalding Tarn. Well, pass the turn. Not a great time to miss land drop. 
Not that there ever really is, but Ponet Island. Crack Scalding Tarn. Steam Vents. Tapped. On Depths. Island. And passes. A place by her bluff. Pass the turn. Ponent. Island. Thing in the ice. Um. Okay, I guess. Ponent's passing. Well, Crag Scalding Tarn. Grab an island. Dictate. Maybe we should have cast it with thing on the stack. Opponent remands. Yup. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, double yikes. Well, pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Solve for false. Passes. Well, let's <laughs> try this again. Dictate. Opponent remands. Uh huh. Well, there's an island. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. And passes. Well, dictate. <laughs> third time. If they have a third remand, logic not. Well, we're just not going to resolve that dictate. It's not going to happen. Well, untap. I have nowhere thing in the ice. Pass the turn. Opponent. Thing in the ice. Well, let us try to remand. All right, there's a land. Opponent. Thing in the ice. Just keeps coming. And passes. Ooh, fevered visions. Well, play Scalding Tarn. Play fevered visions. Pass the turn. We draw. <laughs> That's arguably too many force fruitions. <laughs> Phone it. Tapping, untapping. Passing, drawing, taking some damage. Well, we draw. The opponent's got a discard. Yeah, Blood Moon's not good. Well, Reman's not the worst. We're not going to attempt to force fruition yet. Ooh, opponent. Cryptic, trying to bounce fevered visions. Well, let's remand cryptic. Opponent has spell snare. Huh. Well, boomerang thing in the ice. Opponent does have all the counters, that's for sure. <sighs> all right, so cryptic unfortunately resolves. We draw a card. It's a land. Flooded ran for our Ibunit. Thing in the ice. Vendillion click. Huh. This is interesting. Please take a force fruition. I feel like if we play force fruition, we probably die. Our opponent just draws all their lightning bolts. Takes a fevered vision. Well, crack scalding tarn. Grab an island. Opponent. Passing. Hmm. Yeah, let's abrade Vendillion click. Play Flooded Strand. Hmm. Should we just bounce thing here? Opponent has so many counters. Yeah, let's just pass. See what our opponent does. Opponent should also have some dead removal spells. Thing in the ice. Well, crack flooded strand. Grab an island. Snapcaster mage. Opponent cracks. 
Eh, is this cryptic? Snapcaster. Four spell snare. All right. Yup. Well, untap. Play force fruition. Opponent lightning bolts. Well, we'll see if they have a counter. Force fruition resolves. Steam vents untapped. Pass the turn. All right. All right. All right. Well, they'll probably draw a counter, which is the problem. Yeah, close, close, close. If we had one more mana, we might have a shot. Ooh, opponent, they're not trying to kill us? Okay. Well, that's good. Gets in with Snapcaster. Down to 10. Opponent passes. I'll play the Mountain. Do we play another Force Fruition? Opponent counters. Counters. Yeah. Mm, okay. Force Fruition. Opponent. Bounce. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. So, opponent draws. We Rune Flare Trap. Counter it. Uh, all right. Well... Uh, now they counter this one and we die. No counter. Yeah. Oh, boy. That does it. Wow, we made it close. We made it close. Uh, it was close. It was close. Well, ugh. that's a tricky matchup. That's a very tricky matchup. Those thing in the ices. Oh, lordy. Lordy, lordy. Well, bring in the negates. Bring in whatever counters we can. Maybe Surgicals? I don't know if they're worth it. It's really hard to sideboard in too many cards in this deck. We'll go down, like, Howling Mine, I guess, and... I guess one Dictate? <sighs> Try it like that. Try it like that. We do get to be on the play for game two, which is good. All right, we're on the play. Huh? All right. That's a lot of lands, but... But we do have the ability to, hopefully, Eye of Nowhere on turn one. Opponent. All right. We do not. Well, crack polluted delta. Grab a steam vents. Untap. Play scalding tarn. Pass the turn. Yeah, fetch lands are good at fizzling our turn two bounce plan. Opponent. Tanking. All right. We pass. Opponent cracks. Steam vents. Tapped. Opponent. Island. And thing in the ice. Well, crack scalding tarn. Grab an island. And remand. Untap. Play Flooded Strand. Pass the turn. Not gonna eye of nowhere this turn. Remand is better. Island for our opponent. Thing in the ice. Well, let's try this again. No spell snares. No spell snares. Uh, actually, let's crack this first. Crack Flooded Strand. Island. Remand. Jeez, we are drawing lots of lands. Opponent passes. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we're doing the max flood technique. Um, pass the turn. Opponent. Island. Thing in the ice. Okay. Passes. Well, crack scalding tarn. Grab a... I... Well, let's grab a steam vents. We should stop drawing lands at some point here. Not yet. Scalding Tarn. Go. Oh my god. Actually, I guess we just bounce thing in the ice. Untap. Holy lands. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're gonna have fourteen of our twenty-three lands out of our deck, which is kind of a record setting amount. Crag Scalding Tarn. We're going to be running out of lands to fetch here before long. Steam vents tapped. Untap. Force fruition. I don't think we can play it at the moment. Flooded strand. You. Okay. Opponent. Scalding tarn. Mo oh my god, more things in the ice. That's not ideal. Crack flooded strand. We're just pretty dead. We're literally running out of lands to fetch. If we draw a land here, 
mother of mercy. All right, let's think about, we gotta, all right, let's crack this scalding tard. And then we gotta count, we have to, because this is a little insane. Left in our deck, one, two, three, four, six, six. Out of our deck, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> the magic gods are displeased. They do not like us forcing our opponent to draw cards. This is get a little ridiculous. <laughs> oh, how do we do that when there's like no lands left in our deck? We're like 10% or something to draw land, but all right, all right. Well, I think we're just dead. If they can flip thing in the ice, we're we're so dead. If we draw land here, I swear, Snapcaster. I mean, I like Snapcaster, but what are we supposed to do with it? Like Snapcaster, try to bounce a thing in the ice, it gets countered. I guess we just got to pass. I feel like we are dead at any moment. Yeah, Lightning Bolt, counters off thing in the ice. We're basically trusting in our opponent having a really bad hand. Opt. Yeah, we're so dead. So, so dead. Opponent. Untaps. Land. And passes. Well. Rune Flare Trap. Play Field of Ruin. Play Force Fruition. Opponent. Yeah, they gotta be saving up counters. Remand. Yeah, that does it. Well, we won't scoop. We won't scoop early, but yeah. I mean, we're so far behind that all we can really do is just run out something and pray. And our prayers were not answered by the magic gods today. Pass the turn. We are dead to literally any spell in the history of magic. Uh, that includes surgical. Alright. Yeah, well... <sighs> we'll get them next time. We'll get them next time. We were close at game one. Game two, we just drew nothing. And feels like a tough matchup. Tough. Tough, tough. All right. Against the odds time, we are playing... Oh, boy. Two Force Fruitions. We're going to keep this. We are playing some... <laughs> force Fruition. Bounce all your stuff. Annoy you into submission. Dot deck. In modern. And, uh... This hand's okay. We are going to need to hit our lands. Black Cleave Glyphs. Stitcher's Supplier. Vengevine Milled. Well, crack this. Huh. This is scary. Opponent passes. We'll play the island. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just pass. And if our opponent manages to Vengevine, we just bounce the Vengevine. Viscera Seer. Opponent. Sack Stitcher Supplier. Please whiff. Uh, bridge from below. Okay. Okay. Well, the angers in our sideboard are going to be good. Opponent. Grave Crawler. Gets back Vengevine. Well, we boomerang Vengevine. Opponent sacks it. <laughs> oh, nightmare of Nightmares. Gets a zombie. Well, we're going to go to Cyborg and bring in Angers and hopefully draw them. That's our game plan. Yup. <laughs> Sacrificing. Pretty good way to get around our plan. Opponent. Passes. Well, how about this opponent? How would you like to draw some extra cards? <laughs> oh, this deck. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna win with it eventually, I promise. I swear. I swear. I don't know how many matches it's gonna take us, but sooner or later we're gonna get some with Force Fruition, and it's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what our opponent's thinking about. Okay, resolves. We pass the turn. We get to draw a card. Yup. Opponent's going to sack. Make a zombie. Yeah, we're we're super 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 dead. Modern's pretty fast. <laughs> uh, where's fruition? We get a tap land. <laughs> uh, Marsh flats. Cracks it. Oh, we're so dead. Blood crypt. Untapped. Opponent. 
Because they can just keep casting their grave crawler if they want to, and making zombies. Instead, they will faithless looting. Another bridge. Now they make double zombies and get Vengevine. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, we're literally, we're literally dead. Not even figuratively. We're just like straight up dead in the next two turns. Yeah. All right. Well, we have some decent sideboard options. We get to bring in three Anger of the Gods in two Surgical Extractions. Go down Howling Mine. Go down Remand. Remand feels pretty bad in this matchup. And probably go down, like, Eye of Nowhere for a braid. Actually, maybe we maybe we go down the Eye of Nowheres and leave Howling Mine. Yeah, let's try it like that. Our opponent's pretty resilient to us bouncing stuff because they need, like, zero mana to win. Well, like, one or two. And they can sacrifice their creatures. We get to play first. Eh, all right. We'll try it. Scalding Tarn, Gu. Opponent. Black Leaf Glyphs. And Stitcher Supplier. Come on, bad mills. Bad mills. Real bad. All right, those are bad mills. Crag Scalding Tarn. Get a Steam Vents tapped. Undep. Ooh, Surgical 2. That's interesting. A play Scalding Tarn, Crack Scalding Tarn. Get an Island. Boomerang, Black Leaf Cliffs. Pass the turn. Black Leaf Cliffs. Opponent. Thought Seizes. Um, okay. Take Surgical, unfortunately. And gets in for one. Well, we have a lot of Snapcasters. Boomerang. Well, we're going to hold off on Boomerang. Hopefully nothing goes horribly wrong next turn. Fevered Visions. Pass. Start drawing. More Braids. We would like Lands as well. Swamp for our opponent. How bad is it? Opponent. Ooh, that might improve our hand. Opponent got a Grave... Cr you gotta be kidding. Our hand's exactly the same, but we discarded two Lands! <laughs> No! No! Oh, that's the worst! Oh! Oh, that's... It could not go any worse than that. That is literally the worst. Opponent draws. Take some damage. Okay. We pass. We draw. There's a land. Wow! <laughs> the burning inquiry. What are the chances that we draw and discard the same exact three cards? Opponent, looking like they might faithless looting. Blood Crypt, untapped. Opponent's losing a lot of life, so if we find our big burn spells, ew, Faithless Looting from hand. Okay. Two lands discarded. Still no big payoffs in the graveyard. They can, like, replay Gravecrawler? Opponent. Collective Brutality, discarding Neonate. Well, let's dictate. Drop to 14. Get hit by the dorks. Down to 12. Opponent draws, no damage. Dictate draws. Ooh, Snapcaster. That's not bad. Um, all right. Let's just pass and draw. All right, it's a land. Opponent draws. We still have not found an anger. Thought sees for our opponent. Well, a braid stitcher supplier. Snapcaster mage. For Surgical. Surgical Vengevine. Well, opponent's hand's not great. It's just a bunch of dorks. All right. Well, Vengevine's down. We are going to need to find a Anger of the Gods. Opponent thought seizes. So opponent can play a bunch of dorks, but if we can find an Anger, we're pretty okay. Gravecrawler. And... Grave crawler. Oh man, come on, anger. Anger would be so good. Opponent attacks. Hmm. Man, yeah, let's take one. Opponent draws, take some damage. Boomerang. We draw. Rune flare trap. Well, play polluted delta. Get in with snapcaster. Pass the turn. Opponent draws, or we draw. Opponent starts drawing. Draws one from dictate. Oh, we're close. We can bounce, bounce, Rune Flare Trap, Viscera Seer. Well, let's bounce a Grave Crawler, crack Polluted Delta, get an Island, bounce a Grave Crawler. Opponent gets Viscera Seer, Grave Crawler, 
So I think we put our opponent to one. Opponent gets in, draws, drops to seven. Rune Flare Trap down to one. Untap, draw. We got it. We got it. We did it. I have nowhere Viserys here. Attack with Snapcaster. Can't block it. Did it. We did it. It worked. It worked. We didn't force fruition, but we managed to annoy our way through that match, and it worked. Okay. Huh. It is possible to win, even against this tough matchup. And we didn't even draw anger. I thought if there was any way we want would win that match, it would be with anger. All right. We are on the mulligan. One land. Not going to get it done. Uh, yep, mulligan. Ugh. Hmm. I guess we are also mulliganing to five. All right. As far as five card hands go, this one's about as much as we can hope for. Spire Bluff. Do we even want to land? Let's go bottom. Red mana is good for anger, but opponent. Wow. Kepa Zero Lander. Island go. Opponent. Blackleaf Glyphs. Looting. Ugh. All right. Bridge from below Vengevine. Well, Island. Bounce the land. Pass the turn. Blackleaf Glyphs, Stitcher Supplier, Grave Crawler, there's Hanger back, gets back Vengevine. I think our opponent's five card hand might be better than ours. Well, their five card hand did have Bridge and Vengevine and Faithless Looting. That's a pretty absurd hand for our opponent. Gets it, down to 16. Huh. Pass the turn. And now we can't even... Hmm. Stitcher, Supplier, Mills. Okay. I guess it... A little unfortunate that our opponent drew that land off the top as well. <laughs> Many things have went very wrong here. Dictated crew fix. Opponent hits us. We get to draw an extra card. Force Fruition. Red mana? Cryptic. Yeah, that does it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Well, pass the turn. Well, we did mull to five, and our opponent's five was the greatest five they could imagine. Well, we got a game. We won a game. That's something. That's a step in the right direction. Now we just have to win a match someday. Opponent. Yeah. Bridge. Another another Vengevine. Boy, that five-card hand was absurd. <laughs> uh, I guess that's the, the power of playing these linear combo decks is... If you just need, like, two cards to win the game, sometimes you get them with five. Well, all right. Uh, we got a game. We got a game, and we tried, so we'll take it. All right. Uh, against the odds time, we are looking to bounce people out of the game <laughs> with force fruition. It's going to happen. We're going to win, I swear. Hollow Fountain untapped. Well, I don't know if we win this game, but one of these games, it's going to happen. <laughs> Spire Bluff Go. Looks like control. If we were on the play, I would feel really good. On the draw, they can potentially just counter our boomerang effects, which is a little less good. Bonnet. Island. And passes. Well, Spire Bluff Go. We're just going to stop on our opponent's upkeep and boomerang, or attempt to. If our opponent counters, at least they're skipping their turn. Ish. Relatively. All right. Wow. Just worked. Well, that's good. Hallowed Fountain. Returns. Opponent. Passing. Huh. All right. Play Flooded Strand. And Eye of Nowhere. <laughs> uh. We're not really making any significant progress, but we are annoying our opponent. <laughs> We're making them really want to kill us. <laughs> so that's something. Blades. Found it. Passing. Well, crack flooded strand. Grab a... Yeah, I'll grab steam vents. Untap. I'll play an island. Pass the turn. Leave up cryptic for a jace or something. Snapcaster. Boomerang a land. Ooh. Opponent passes. All right. Well, Snapcaster. <laughs> Four Boomerang. Boomerang, Hollowed Fountain. Or attempt to. Aw. All right. Opponent kills our Snapcaster. Well, we get a land out of our deck. Bounce a land. Untap. 
I think we're actually going for this. Play Polluted Delta, crack Polluted Delta. Grab an island. Cryptic. Bounce the island, draw a card. Whew! I have nowhere. Well, bounce the planes. <laughs> I mean, we're not doing anything, but we have six lands and our opponent has zero. Man, if we could draw a force fruition here, it would be so insane. Island for our opponent. Gonna start discarding the hand size. Terminus, sure. There it is. There it is. That's what we wanted. Oh, this is how we drew it up. Force fruition. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No. Okay, opt. Opt is okay. Now we just need to draw basically any spell. Because anything our opponent does is going to force them to draw a lot of cards. So we just need anything to keep bouncing their lands. And eventually we will mill them out. Planes. Opponent. Passing. I'll play the island. Pass the turn. Opponent. Untaps. Hallowed Fountain. Tapped. Well, end of turn. Dictate. Keep the card draw flowing. Oh, this is like the dream scenario. Oh, negate! Okay. Huh. I was not expecting actual negate. Well, now our opponent draws a ton of cards, and we are not drawing cards. Hmm. Well, if they have an answer, they're going to find it. Come on. Something off the top. We've gotten a lot of lands out of our deck. Opponent discards. A bunch of bad creature removal. We draw. Ooh, Snapcaster. Snapcaster is good. Well... I think we just pass. Opponent untaps. Flooded Strand. And passes. Well, play Howling Mine. Opponent Spell Snares. All right. Draw seven. Pass the turn. We want to stop it to Fairy. That's the main thing we want to stop. Opponent Cracks Flooded Strand. Do they have lands left? They should. Gets an island. 28 cards in their deck. Oh, their hand's got to be overloaded with goodies. There's Teferi. All right, so now we Snapcaster Mage for Cryptic. And a post scoops it up! A post scoops it up! Cannot beat the Force Fruition. That was the fairest of fair Force Fruitions. We did have our opponent at zero lands at one point, thanks to all of our bouncing. And that was on the draw. Oh, that was good. That was very good. Very, very good. So Dispels negates in. Counter flux in. Abrades out. Huh. What else can we cut? Huh. Let's go down one Howling Mine. And... Uh, surgical could be good, too. Let's go one dictate. Try it like that. All right. Run it like that. Um, okay. I mean, we got a lot of card draw, and we got a negate. We'll give this a go. No bouncy bounce. Oh, my God. I said bouncy bounce. <laughs> Edit that out, editor. <laughs> Make me look smart, please. <laughs> Steve, let's go. No bouncy Bounce. <laughs> uh, there's our boomerang. I almost said bouncy bounce again. Opponent. Searching for Iskanta. A uh, play Scalding Tarn. Pass the turn. Actually, should we just bounce right now? I guess we should. Let's crack Scalding Tarn. Grab an island. Boomerang. Pass the turn. Man, maybe we should have brought in Blood Moon. Blood Moon would have actually been pretty good against what our opponent's got going on. Hallowed Fountain. Returns. Opponent. Passing. Another boomerang. Well, play the mountain. Stop on our opponent's draw step. Iskanta. Leaves it. Draws. And now we will dictate. Resolves. Well, here comes the cards. Hopefully. Flooded Strand. Opponent passing all right we get to draw an extra card island flooded strand hmm i'll play flooded strand pass the dirt opponent cracks sure yeah it's an island ops to the bottom okay 
is Kanta leaves it. So now we will Boomerang, Hollowed Fountain. Opponent has Spell Snare. Yup. Draws an extra card. Ghost Quarter. Opponent passing. Well, Crack Flooded Strand. Grab a Steam Vents. Tapped. Untap. Draw an extra card. I'll play the island, play Fevered Visions. Opponent negates. <clears throat> How much do we lose if our opponent untaps and plays to fairy? Uh, all right, I guess we gotta let it go. We really would like Fevered Visions, but we really can't let our opponent play to fairy. We gotta leave up negates. As Kanta, opponent leaves it, draws an extra card. Are they somehow not drawing lands? Wow, they are not. All right, opponent passes. We draw an extra card. Well, Steam Vents untapped. Eye of Nowhere, Hollowed Fountain. Opponent. <laughs> Ghost Quarters themselves. Okay, I mean, I guess it's less than Flip There is Kanta, which is less than ideal. But it still puts our opponent down mana opponent ops to the top all right well is Kanta's flipping so our opponent's kind of ramping here going to blow up a land sure we get an island <laughs> so opponent scry all right as Kanta flips mills a jace flips his Kanta draws a card glacial fortress opponent passing we get to draw two. Island and remand. Well, play the island, pass the turn. So our opponent gets to start digging with his Kanta. Or not. Draws an extra card. I guess they're afraid of getting milled out. Flooded Strand. There's going to be an epic counter battle eventually. Fevered Visions and Fevered Visions. Well, play Fevered Visions. Opponent has Snapcaster. Okay. Hmm. We do have to not lose to the Snapcaster. For negate. Opponent negates. Well, let's negate the negate. Opponent cracks. Gets a land. Mana leaks. All right, we're going shields down. Negate the mana leak. Uh, this might be greedy, and we might die because of it. We'll see. But we need to start getting in damage. This does open the door for our opponent to play a Planeswalker. We draw land. Opponent extra cards. We need some of our big damage spells. Well, we're tapping out, opponent. This is your turn to slam a Teferi and kill us. Opponent. Yeah, it's in with Snapcaster. Mm-hmm. Wow, passes, takes their beats down to 12. Well, that went well. We draw a Remand and a Spire Bluff. Well, play Spire Bluff. Pass the turn. Not going to force fruition yet. We draw a card. Opponent's going to Cryptic. Eh, let's just Remand Cryptic. Ooh, that's a Rune Flare. That's a good one. Snapcaster. Well, we can discard one force fruition. Opponent draws. If our opponent taps down, we might be able to just rune flare them end step. We're close. We're super close. Cryptic. Well, hmm. Reman the cryptic. Ooh, whew, and a dispel. Things are looking good. Serum visions. Oh, this is gonna be a good rune flare trap with the spell back up potent gets in with snapcaster mm -hmm. i think we might have this Down to 12 draws a card nine in hand so now we rune flare trap disdainful stroke we dispel game it's game we can untap it full price a rune flare trap whoa doing it i mean we didn't force fruition this game but draw a card draw a card Play the land, crack the land, get the island, Snapcaster, for Rune Flare Trap, 
full price rune flare your face for seven and that's our deck working and taking out blue white control whoo sweet uh that was good that was good we gotta win sweet all right against the odds time we are looking to uh force our opponent's fruition man i really want to keep this hand uh, we can't though oh dear well we're gonna keep this one with a scry we need another land snapcaster to the bottom uh-oh well we'll see are we getting ley lined okay island go come on land off the top if we get down howling mine our land problem should be over blood crypt oh i'm down for a burning inquiry let's inquiry oh looting unfair unfair i want to draw cards too opponent okay uh-huh so we're getting dredged Ooh, two oh it's pyromancer interesting land all right pass the turn well, this is a smidge of a nightmare blood crypt untapped young pyromancer oh this is all kinds of bad opponent passing steam vents steam vents untapped pass the turn opponent bloodstained mire inquisition and we will scoop it up now we're showing our opponent our hand well a braid in anger uh well anger the gods in maybe not a braid surgical could be worth it we'll go down one howling mind that dies to pretty much everything i think we're also gonna cut a braids and i think we just run it like that see what happens all right we're on the play and well we'll give this a go turn one thought sees is a little annoying well, steam vents tapped pass the turn opponent did go to five that does work in our favor opponent urborg and there's the discard takes remand a play scalding tarn crack it grab an island and yeah i mean i guess we eye of nowhere pass the turn so we're gonna do a good job of slowing our opponent down question is going to be can we actually win the game opponent passes well play the mountain boomerang pass the turn hopefully we draw a land for cryptic that would be best urborg opponent passes land cryptic e all right pass the turn that wasn't great opponent wow no land even after all that there's a land all right play scalding tarn well since our opponent skipped their land drop or missed their land drop we're just gonna pass opponent thought sees well scalding tarn crack it island cryptic counter draw all right opponent i mean if we get down this force fruition we should just win island goo force fruition should just be unbeatable here opponent passing well cryptic bounce draw we mostly just want to land for force fruition rune flare trap land opponent's got to discard two there's scalding tarn all right now the fun begins <laughs> would you like some cards opponent and with our opponent having zero lands on the battlefield i don't think they can kill us before they mill themselves out they have 48 cards so they can cast a few spells we also have double rune flare trap anger well pass the dirt if our opponent casts a spell they lose swamp <laughs> yes yes i guess they could have discard if they have discard we gotta oh okay this works force fruition opponent draws seven uh so now we rune flare trap you and also rune flare trap you and game <laughs> force fruition got ya <laughs> well i mean we benefited from our opponent's mulligan <laughs> but we'll take it we'll take the win where we could get it uh okay let's do that again that was about as good as it gets for our deck uh okay we got a mixture of stuff 
Opponent going to six. Do they have infinite discard? Blood St. Meyer cracks it. Blood Crypt untapped. And Inquisition. Well, opponent's got some good options. Takes Remand. Sure. Well, Scalding Tarn, you. Opponent. Wouldn't mind avoiding Young Pyromancer. Bajukabog. Gets rid of our Remand. And more Inquisitions. So much discard. Takes our Boomerang. I'll grab Scalding Tarn. Grab a island untap fevered visions is nice play the island pass the turn so card draw is incoming we'll see what our opponent can get down this turn we are defenseless swamp and brutality discards a bolt takes a rune flare trap well opponents down to one card Okay. Opponent passes. Hmm. Play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. Opponent. Passing. Well, let's dictate. Maybe we should have started with Fevered Visions. Draw a card. Draw a card. Play the Island. Pass the turn. Yeah, I think we definitely should have played fevered visions first opponent draws because then we could leave up cryptic and still flash and dictate so small punt there opponent passing well let's field of ruin opponent bolts down to 14 grab a mountain untap boomerang and island well Play the island. Play fevered visions. Pass the turn. The card draws a come in. We draw. Another rune flare trap. Those are cards that we do want to draw. Dictate. Opponent draws. Myth realized. Interesting. Opponent passing. And boomerang a land. Untap. Opponent down to 17. More cryptics. And I think we might just have this. Spire Bluff. Well, play Scalding Tarn. Pass the turn. Draw a card. Okay. I think we win. Opponent draws one card. And what do you got? Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Okay. Even better. Myth Realized. Okay. Opponent. Passing. Cracks calling Tarn. And this should be game. I think we got him. Take the mountain. Cryptic. Bounce Sacred Foundry. There's our force fruition too. Opponent draws. Rune Flare Trap you. Rune Flare Trap you. And game? That's game. Well, we did get down a force fruition that game, but we just kinda trashed Mardu Pyromancer. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Against the odds time, we are hmm, playing some <laughs> Force Fruition, Anoyo Tron, in standard. Uh, this hand, this hand, this hand, we're on the draw. It's so slow. We're going to ship it. All right. This hand is better. Land to the bottom. So at least we get to bounce something on turn two. And then follow it up with Fevered Visions. That's our plan anyway. See what our opponent's up to. Wooded Files. And passes. We draw. Cryptic. Well, Steam Vents tapped. Pass the turn. Cryptic could be good. See what our opponent's doing. Wooded Foothills. Stomping Grounds. Tapped. Opponent. Forest. Ooh, Fauna Shaman. That's spicy. Hmm. Well, play the island, and let's just 
bounce stomping grounds. Pass the turn. Try to keep our opponent off mana as much as possible. This looks like the cremator deck. <laughs> so we're gonna have to watch out for huge chunks of damage going to our face. Stomping grounds. Tapped. Ugh. All right, opponent's gonna have the mana. Gets a birds of paradise. Yeah, it's in for two. Hmm. Let's just play Field of Ruin. Run out Fevered Visions. Draw a card. All right. Well, we got a Cryptic for next turn. Wolf Run for our opponent. <laughs> Steel Leaf Champion. That's a big old boy. Down to 16. Pony draws. Takes two. I'll play Flooded Strand. Pass the turn. Draw a card. A braid. Alright, we're gonna wait. See what our opponent does. Windswept Eath. Cracks it. Forest. Surak. Alright. So I think what we have to do here is crack this, grab an island, counter and bounce. So counter Surak, bounce Steel Leaf. Staying alive, kinda. <laughs> Gets in with Fauna Shaman. Down to 13, opponent draws, down to 14. Fevered Visions. Well, play Scalding Tarn, crack Scalding Tarn. Grab a mountain. Kill Fauna Shaman. Play Fevered Visions. Pass the turn. The funny thing is, with all the cards we're making our opponent draw, it should be hard for them to cremate us. We draw two. Ooh, Snapcaster. That gives us hope. That gives us hope that we can maybe jank our opponent out next turn. We'll see if we remain alive. Strangle Root Geist. Hasty. Ugh, this is going to be so close. And Eldritch Evolution. That's not ideal. Comes back. Even more power. Gets a Cremator. Discards a tireless tracker. So we're not all the way dead, but we're pretty dead. Opponent passes down to three. Draws two cards, dead to a bull. Cryptic? Blue source? Well, it is a blue source. Play Polluted Delta. Well, I guess we gotta crack it. Crack Polluted Delta. Grab an island. Pass the turn. We draw cryptic. We draw boomerang. Okay. Okay. There's a slight bit of hope. Land for our opponent. Goes to combat. Cryptic. Tap. Tap everything. Bounce. Stomping ground. We got to keep our opponent high on cards in hand for this Rune Flare trap. Opponent. Magus of the Moon. Hmm. That's potentially bad. That turns off Snapcaster Cryptic. Um. <sighs> All right. Resolves. Opponent draws. Opponent draws. We rune flare trap. Oh, come on. Come on, top deck. Untap. Boomerang. Play Field of Ruin. Oh. One, two. So if we... Boomerang, Snapcaster, Braid. All right, pass the turn. 
see we, see if we can just draw a rune flare trap for the win. Force fruition. Steam vents. All right, so we have to boomerang. Okay, all right. Pass the turn. Opponent goes to combat. Attacks. So we need to snapcaster for a braid. Bounce cremator. A braid strangle root. Boomerang Magus. And see what happens. That's what we got. Can you kill us? Or does Fevered Visions get it done? Maybe? Maybe? Wow, that was close. <laughs> we could still get cremated if our opponent has another one. Or an Eldritch Evolution. Or lightning bolted land. Are we spinning the wheel? <gasps> oh, come on. Come on, magic gods. Be good. Be good. Be good. What's discarded? Two lads, four creatures. Oh, Magus. Oh, my God, for Xaxes. Wow. Wow, we were so close. Ugh. Okay, okay. We were close. We didn't get there, but we were close. Um, ha. Huh. Wow, that was a close game. Whoo! Almost got him. Almost got him. We were a mana short for the Rune Flare Trap. Or like a turn short. We had to Snapcaster to stay alive. Oh, Wow. All right. Hmm. So against this deck, Anger seems reasonable. Maybe go down Howling Mine. Go down one Dictate and I guess one Remand. A Braid also seems fine. Now we can bounce a lot of things. Yeah, let's go up to a braid. Go down two remands. Try it like that. Wow, that was so close. That was so close. Alright, we are on the play. Hmm. Well, alright, we'll try it. Missing our early game stuff, but... All right, so let's just Steam Vents, tapped. Pass the turn. Ooh, and Swept Eve. I feel like we're going to need an Anger, probably, to keep up with our opponent. Gets a Forest. Birds of Paradise, sure. Ugh, more Forest Fruitions. Forest Fruition is a card. We rarely need more, more than one. Opponent, untaps. Mountain. Strangle root. Oh, anger. We need an anger. Opponent. Getting frisky. Well, crack flooded strand. Grab a steam vents. Drop to 17. Anger. Off the top. Scalding tarn. This is scary. Scalding tarn. Crack it. Island. Fevered Visions. Pass the turn, draw a card. <laughs> More Fevered Visions. Draw an all enchantments. Temple Garden. Untapped. Night of Autumn. Gonna blow up Fevered Visions. Anger. Anger. Oh, Anger is so good. Opponent. Gets it. Four, three. Down to 13. Eye of Nowhere. A place calling, Tarn. Pass the turn. 
We gotta find this anger, and we gotta find it soon. Bone it. Combat. Gonna get in for four. We will take it. Down to nine. <laughs> Crack scalding tarn. Grab an island. Cryptic. Bounce a land, draw a card. Anger. We need anger. A braid. All right. Untap. A braid. We'll play Field of Ruin. We might die here. Play Fevered Visions. Pass the turn. Draw a card. <laughs> Force Vision, part three. Bone it. Having a hard time finding that anger. Field of Ruin. Could very well be dead to a cremator. Eldritch Evolution. Oh boy. Night of Autumn. Blows up Fevered Visions. Combat. Attacks. Well. A Braid Strangle Root. Take two. Opponent. Oh no. Ugh. Left in the bolts. Ugh. <sighs> well, we tried. We made it close at game one. Ugh. Game two, we just could not find one of our sideboard angers. Would have been so good. So good. All right. All right. Well, we'll get him next time. All right. Against the odds time, we are trying to <laughs> annoy our opponents into submission. By forcing them to draw cards. <laughs> Plants of Force Fruition. Uh, Alright, Flooded Strad, go. This hand's okay. Like, we get a remand, we can re uh, we can cycle. We don't have any boomerangs. Valakut. Well, our constant land bouncing might be good against Valakut. Let's take a Steamens. Tapped. Untap. I'll play Spire Bluff. Pass the turn. Come on, boomerangs. Pwn it. Forest. Farseek. Well, let's remand Farseek. <laughs> Into a remand. Okay. Gotta keep our opponent's hand full for this rune flare trap. Play the island. Pass the turn. This might be working. Pwn it. Forest fruition seems hilariously good against our opponent's deck because it's gonna force them to draw lands that they probably want in their deck. Opponent passes. I'll play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. Opponent. Far seek. Well, Cryptic Command. Counter draw. Ooh, Snapcaster. Sweet. Mountain for our opponent. And passes. I'll play the island. Pass the turn. Man, we got lots of Force Fruitions. Sakura Tribe Elder. Well, let's Snapcaster for Remand. Okay, Bolt Snapcaster, that's fine. Remand, Sakura Tribe Elder. <laughs> Into a Remand, Opponent. Passes. Ooh, Fevered Visions. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Perhaps we die, but we came here to play Force Fruition. There's a Force Fruition. Enjoy the cards you draw, opponent. Pass the turn. <laughs> All right, let's see if we're dead. <laughs> what will happen? I mean, so in theory, against Valica, ugh, Prismatic Omen, our opponent being forced to draw these cards will make it harder to get the Scape Shift win. Although, man, if we had one extra mana, we would potentially just kill our opponent here. So we shouldn't be dead this exact turn, but we're going to be dead soon. Sakura so Tribe Elder. Yep. Opponent's got 18 cards in hand. Opponent, passing. We draw. Oh, they have through the breach too. Huh, okay. 
I'll play Flooded Strand. Pass the turn. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Opponent untaps. Valica. Nine damage. Man, that's a lot of Valicuts to draw. Opponent. Going to go attacking. No, we have to, unfortunately, Snapcaster Mage. Opponent sacks. Nine more damage. <sighs> we were close. We were close. The problem is now our opponent does not have to ever cast a spell. They can just play lands. So Snapcaster for Cryptic. Yep. Well, we will Cryptic Bounce Prismatic Omen. Draw a card. One tap. Boomerang. Well, get it with Snapcaster Mage. Hit our opponent to 18. Play Flooded Strand. Pass the turn. Oh man, come on, Rune Flare Trap. Opponent Cycle Sweltering Suns. They don't have enough mountains to kill us without replaying Prismatic Omen. There's Prismatic Omen. Well, we remand Prismatic Omen. Opponent draws. Prismatic Omen. Opponent draws. Well, I mean, Rune Flare trap you? No bolt? Oh, it worked! It worked! <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness, it worked! I thought for sure we were going to get lightning bolted. We made our opponent draw so much of their deck. Well, uh, score one for, <laughs> for fruition. That actually worked. Okay. Well, against this deck, we want anything that can can shut down the Valica kill. Uh, all right, let's think about this. How do we make this work? A braid doesn't do much. Go down the abrades. Go up a couple blood moons. Can we make surgical work? We have a couple of field of ruins. Huh? What would we cut though? Let's go up surgical surgical go down one howling mine and uh i guess one fevered visions unfortunately actually maybe we just go down dictate fevered vision seems more important counterflux could be sweet too all right let's go down both dictates this is a lot less uh the third blood moon that does shut down velica kills yeah, all right, let's try it like that. Let's try it like that. <laughs> uh, well, at least we won a game. No matter what happens the rest of the way, they can't take that from us. Ooh, man. We're a blue mana short from going ultra annoying, but we got a remand. We'll keep this. Opponent. Windswept Eve. Cracks it. Stomping Grounds. Untapped. And Relic of Progenitus. All right, that's... I mean, that's fine. They saw a lot of Snapcasters. Opponent passes. Uh, all right, Island Go. Another blue source to start bouncing lands. That would make us happy. Mountain. And there's the ramp, number one. Boomerangs are like reverse ramp. <laughs> that's the easiest way to think of Boomerang. Opponent passing. Oh, dear. Well, Mountain Go. Huh. Our mana base has betrayed us. Opponent untaps. Well, we are definitely going to remand in hopes of finding colored mana. Cryptic. Ugh. Yeah, opponent eats the remand. And passes. Come on, land! Come on, land! Alright, Scalding Tarn. Crack Scalding Tarn. And I think we just grab an island... And then play Fevered Vision. Hopefully to draw more lands. Pass the turn. Uh, more lands? Counterflux. Well, that can stop a combo piece. We still need lands, though. Forest. Opponent. Search for tomorrow's. Rampin. And search suspended. That's a lot of ramp. Opponent passes, draws, takes two. Come on, land. Rune flare trap. That's not what we wanted. 
Yikes. Yikes, yikes, double yikes. Well, discard Force Fruition. There's a land, but we can't play it yet. Opponent, Exile Scalding Tarn. Yeah, we gotta discard Force Fruition, and also more stuff? Ugh. All right, I have nowhere. Oh, that was not a great turn. Search for tomorrow's. Bloodstained Mire. Opponent. Passing. Drawing. Well. Let's boomerang. Opponent down to 13. Fevered Fish in. Well, play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. Draw a... Opponent's going to Summoner's Pact. All right. Well, we're going to let Summoner's Pact resolve. Because our opponent's going to have to spend their turn paying for it. Cracks Bloodstained Mire. Gets a Cinder Glade. Through the Breach. Well, let's... Counterflux. Draw a card. Yeah, opponent exiles force fruition. Ugh. We really need more blue mana. Opponent. Untaps has to pay for pack. Search for tomorrow's comes down. Summoner's packed. Must be paid. Opponent. Stomping grounds. Tapped. Uh, come on! Blue source for cryptic. Sakura tribe elder. Opponent passes. Draws. Drops to 10. Well, steam vents untapped. Pass the turn. So we did finally draw blue source. We draw a card. Snapcaster. So this at least gives us some amount of hope that we can counter that we can counter this Primeval Titan. Opponent untaps. Valakut. Goes attacking. Well, we will take it. Hour of Promise. Hmm. Well, I guess this is cryptic. Counter draw. Yeah, we can't do anything except this. Counter draw. Opponent. Far seek. Surgical would be a sweet draw. Surgical, kill Valica, exile it. That would be sweet. Fevered visions. Not drawing enough cards for traps. Well, play the island. We can force fruition, but we don't have the mana. Ha. Huh. All right. I guess we just got to pass. We're out of counters at the moment. We draw. Opponent exiles. Boomerang. Uh, there's Blood Moon just a little too late. Um... All right, untap or discard fevered vision. Well, let's see if we're dead. Man, we are so close to killing our opponent. They're also so close to killing us, but. Hour of promise. Okay, well, let's field of ruin, Valakut. Grab an island. Opponent. Get some lands. Two Valakuts. Land. Six points of damage. Oh. And that's Titan mana. Yeah, now we're dead. Sakura Tribe Elder. Well, run out Snapcaster. Target, cryptic, opponent sacks, 
Well, we're dead to a bolt. Or a ramp spell. Yeah, we're dead to a lot. Well, now we have to boomerang stomping ground. Uh, opponent has through the breach. All right. Well, interesting. Interesting, interesting. We fought a good fight, and we were close, but not close enough. We probably got to have the last Blood Moon. We're probably being too greedy. I know it's kind of a cheat card, but, I mean, it's it's our best card in this matchup. We can't not play it. Uh, go down the counter flux, I guess. Run it like that. All right, being on the play should be good. We get to play first. All right, we'll try this. Our man is slightly awkward, but we'll keep. Scalding Tarn, goo. So I think the plan is bounce our opponent's first land, untap Blood Moon. Bloodstained Mire. Well, we can't bounce their first land. Crag Scalding Tarn. Grab an island. Untap. Play Spire Bluff Canal. Pass the turn. Yeah, that's a good way to play around it. Fetch land, cracked. Stomping Grounds. Tapped. Opponent. Mountain. And... Ooh, passes. Interesting. Hmm. Is our opponent playing around Blood Moon? Well, I think we just... Eye of Nowhere. Opponent floats a mana. Okay. Steam Vents. Tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent. Untaps. Cinderglade and Relic. Relic activated. Well, now we're going to Blood Moon for better or worse. That helps. Polluted Delta, crack Polluted Delta. Grab an island. Run out Blood Moon. Pass the turn. Two blue sources is good. Not quite enough to Snapcaster, unfortunately, but still helpful. Ugh, opponent's got a forest. Boo. And they can kill blood. Opponent. Opponent. Come on now. Come on now. Opponent's got it all. Opponent passes. You know, surgical extraction. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Relic has Snapcaster covered. And surgical, really. Well, play the mountain. Run out Fevered Vision. Pass the turn. Draw a card. All right, another Blood Moon's not bad. Opponent. Untaps. And Reclamation Sage. So many ways of dealing with our enchantments. Yup. Stomping Grounds. Tapped. Opponent. All right, let's extract Nature's Claim and see what's in our opponent's hand. Oh, they had a Nature's Claim. All right, get rid of Nature's Claim. Get rid of Nature's Claim. They have one more basic forest. A Fracturing Gust. A bunch of ramp. Also, Breach Titan, which is not good. All right. Well, sure. Untap. Fevered Vision. Now the question is, what do we do? If they get to Breach Titan, we lose. We would like to just Fevered Visions, Blood Moon, go. But if they top deck a land, it's just game. We might just have to do that, though. Yeah. I mean, the other option is, like, Snapcaster, Bounce a Land, do nothing. All right. Well, play Field of Ruin. Play Fevered Vision play Blood Moon and cross our fingers that our opponent does not draw a land this turn. Pass the turn. No land. We need no land. Fevered Visions, we draw. Um, Alright, get rid of Blood Moon. We draw. Rune Flare Trap. Do they draw land? Please no. Please no. Alright. Looks like no, or they would have tightened. Opponent gets in. Down to 18. Wow, Summoner's Pact for Sakura Tribe Elder to get a land. Draws a card. Man, I think if we draw a boomerang, we win. Well, that's not a boomerang. 
but it is a force fruition. If we draw a boomerang off fevered visions, I'm going to cry. Pass the turn. So our opponent, they have to spend their turn paying for paying for their pact. We draw another blood moon. So opponent untaps, they got to pay for pact. So they can't kill us this turn. And now hopefully this rune flare trap can maybe take it down next turn. Uh, exile fevered vision. Opponent gets in, hits us. Yup. Down to 16. Draws. Drops to 15. We draw. Scalding Tarn. I'll play Scalding Tarn. Pass the turn. Yeah, pass the turn and see what happens. We draw. Oh, <gasps> another root for the trap. Oh my god, we got it. We got it. We got it. That's what we needed. Oh man, that's what we needed. Play that prime time and die. Die, die. Opponent gets in with Rex Age. Okay. We will take it. Wow, they're just going to play nothing? Draws from Fevered Vision. Well, let's Rune Flare Trap for eight. I think we got it. We got the GGs. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, it worked. We won with Force Fruition. Oh, man. I had a real fear that we would not ever win with Force Fruition because it feels so bad to let your opponent draw cards, but we did it. We did it. We're doing it. Sweet. So what did we learn this week about Force Fruition in Modern? And overall, we played six matches. We won three of them. Good for exactly a 50% match win percentage. And the game win percentage, exactly the same. We played 16 games. We won eight of them. So also exactly 50%, which means Force Fruition, eh, average-ish for an against the odds deck. The deck, really, we either got absolutely crushed or we did some really crazy things. So the plan did work, but we really saw the good and bad side of playing Force Fruition. For one thing, Force Fruition, by being six mana, in our deck, not really having ramp, we're kind of on the reverse ramp plan where rather than making additional mana, we're trying to keep our opponent off of mana with boomerangs and I have nowhere to slow down the game. So we definitely had some games against fast decks where we would draw two or three force fruitions and they would kind of get stuck in hand and we would just get beat down by more efficient, faster decks. That was definitely a thing that happened. On the other hand, we had some absurd games where we were able to like boomerang, boomerang, cryptic command, have our opponent like zero lands on turn four play a force fruition and just go absolutely nuts and rune flare trap was really key and it was really really good a lot of our wins did come thanks to rune flare trap either with force fruition which was the ultimate combo where out of nowhere we'd force our opponent to draw a bunch of cards and just kill them for like one mana which was insane or we did get some wins where we just stacked up fevered visions and kind of annoyed our opponent with bounce effects and rune flare them out naturally so the deck I mean, it was functional, and for being built around one of the more challenging against odds cards we've played in a long time, I'm pretty happy that we ended up with a 50-50 or 50% game win percentage, match win percentage. Like, I am more than happy with that because when I started building around Force Fruition, I was really thinking we were going to be looking at what are the really rough weeks on against the odds. And our opponent would just, like, draw all the cards and kill us. But it didn't work like that. The boomerangs and I have nowheres were super sweet. Fevered Visions was good. All around, for being built around Force Fruition, pretty happy with how the deck turned out. And, more importantly, even though we had the Blood Moons in the sideboard, I think we won a single game because of Blood Moon. So it wasn't like we were just losing, 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 and then janking people out with Blood Moon after sideboarding. That happened once, but that was against Valica, which is legitimately not a jank them out matchup. Like, against Valica, they can still cast their spells with a Blood Moon out for the most part. We're just stopping the Valica kill in specific, which makes it more of a fair hate card than a jank them out card. So it's not like we were just leaning on our sideboard Blood Moons and getting crushed in all of our game ones. So overall, pretty happy with how Force Fruition turned out. While we had some bad games, they were mostly over pretty quickly as we just got crushed by more aggressive and more efficient decks. And then the good games where we get out Force Fruition and just go absolutely nuts. Those were super sweet and more than made up for the bad games. So anyway, that's been Force Fruition for Modern. That's our Against the Odds for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here